Hello everyone, today I bring you uh, an unusual access point. Um, this is an HP M330. This is dual radio, um, meaning this has a 2.4 and 5.8 uh, gigahertz radio in it. So this uh, this operates uh, at uh, 8, 802.11 AC. Uh, it means that it joins the both uh, frequencies bandwidth to get uh, up to 1.3 uh, gigabits of um, bandwidth over wireless. This is according to the manufacturer specification. So, uh, just have a quick look. This is made out of plastic. It's uh, very rugged. Some vents here on the side. Both sides have vents. Very very slick, simple design um, for four LEDs, one indicating power, another one indicating network. This one um, is for 2.4 gigahertz uh, network and 5.8 gigahertz network. So separate radios, each one has um, their own LED. On the, usually I, we would be expecting this at the bottom to have the the connections, but in this case, this in this case it's at uh, at the top. It's quite unusual. I'm not used to it, but you have a power socket, uh, Ethernet that supports uh, power over Ethernet. Uh, this is a 48 volts power over Ethernet, and uh, there's a warning in the manual that you should use only only gigabit power over Ethernet. So the old ones that are not gigabit, uh, the power over Ethernet, it's not compatible with this, so don't use it. Uh, and the reset hole, in case you mess up the configuration, just with a small pin, you press the reset and get the configuration to the to the default. On the back, you have these these uh, things that to to attach to a holder. There's actually a a wall mount that you place on the wall and then and you place it there. You can also put it on um, on the ceiling. It can be like this or vertically. You choose the way you want to put it. And it's a very simple design, very slick. There's not much to it. You just and it's a uh, it's very rugged. This this plastic it's it's very tough. It's tough plastic. And this comes from HP as uh, like some other other um, devices especially network devices it comes with a lifetime limited warranty so and just in case you're wondering usually this costs around 250 bucks in the US dollars and around 250 in uh, euros okay I'm just gonna plug the power to this I have this already connected to the to the network and see this power connector is a bit unusual it has a, a pin inside of it See if I can get a focus on this. You can see there's a small pin inside. It's not a, a, the ordinary power socket that we see. This operates at uh, 12 volts, but this it's quite unusual. So if you have, um, well, they have a lifetime warranty. If you have a, pl a problem with this, I hope they replace the the power supply too. Okay, let's see what it does when you plug it. So it turns immediately on because there's no there's no power buttons, there's nothing. We have network, there's activity. Uh, usually it looks for, um, it's in the default mode is uh, DHCP client, so it's going to look for an IP address. If there's no server to give him the uh, an IP address, it will set itself to 192.168.1.1. Okay, after a while, um, since I didn't add any DHCP, I'm just going to show you here on top. I just inserted the, the IP 192.168.1.1. Didn't enter, then it went to this uh, web page. It's the management web page. The password is admin, as long as the username. So it's admin, admin. Just log in. No, I don't want to save it. You have this. Uh, like uh, wizard-like configuration now, where you choose the country. 
according to the country you choose, you're going to have access to the channels so you don't break any laws in, uh, in your country. So I presume you uh, choose the right country if you don't want to get in, uh, any, <laughs> in any trouble. Like right here in Portugal. So just to save. It's taking a little bit. Now we have it. Now we have, once again, this is basic network. I'm just going to show you multiple networks as if you had um, um, like one for guests and one for work. Multiple networks wired with VLANs. Okay, in case you had uh, a VLAN switch with a VLAN, you make that VLAN reach the access point, then one VLAN goes to a wireless network and another goes to, an, to the other one. This is with a radius authentication server. And I had a wireless, at wireless network with existing AP cluster. So if you had more of these access points, you can add another one uh, to this. And uh, this wizard will configure it um, to to have the configuration of the other ones, so it's like joining uh, joining a cluster of uh, access points, or you can do it by hand, and that's a lot more fun. Okay, what we have here now we have quick setup, uh, just a small uh, display of the information we have. Channel 1, the way it's working, it's also enabled, A and C, wireless, we got wireless, let's see what we have here. Okay, the, net, the network name, that's Radio 1, Radio 2 here, 5 gigahertz, so the name is HP1 underscore 5G for 5 gigahertz and HP1 underscore 2.4G for the 2.4 network. There's no security enabled, there's nothing to So you can configure it using an um, ordinary laptop with a wireless network, just connects the SSID. Mac authentication, client connection, radio, usually that's my favorite part. I like to see what's going on with the radio configurations. Made for Portugal. Radio 1. This is the mode. PG, PGN, 2.4 EN. In this case, this was in BGN, I think. Channel. Here we can use up to 13 channels. You can't see it here in the video. 13 channels is allowed in Portugal. And um, for radio 2, just going to show you where's the channel here. We have up to this channel. As you can see, there's a, there's a gap here. There's quite a big gap. From There's a big jump from six, uh, channel 64 to channel 100. This is according to the Etsy regulation in Portugal. For Portugal, so only those are allowed. DFS support on, multi-domain regulatory domain enabled, short guard interval supported. Some of these I'm not used to their names, they probably mean something I already know. Beacon interval, uh, these ones I know, the team. Fragmentation, transmit power. This is in 100%. I don't know the transmit power of this, but I do know the um, YERP, the um, irradiated isotropic um, radiation power, which is the transmit power plus the antenna power. And I can tell you that uh, at 2.4 the maximum is uh, 29 dBs. So it's uh, quite strong. It's quite strong when you include the antennas. Load balancing. WDS. WDS link, 
if you have any WDS um, enabled. Rugged IP detection, loads of IP here and there, addresses, network. So this would be, yeah, manual IP configuration, IPv6. There's IPv6 here, cluster. This cluster is, uh, if you have it enabled, if you have uh, more devices like this one connected. I believe this cluster is usually in ordinary wireless language, let's say. It's called the mesh, mesh network. I believe this is a mesh network, except HP calls it cluster. Client, it's client connections, channel planning. Yeah, Captive portal. This has a built-in captive portal um, option. So every time a client connects, you can um, redirect it to a, it will be redirected to a web page where you have information about or your company or whatever you want to, to have it available for the, for the wireless clients. There's a small group here if you want to create um, authentication. Let's go to management. This is the management tool, HTTPS, server, SSH, Telnet, schedule, schedule association. Uh, this I'm not schedule, I know what a schedule is. Act schedule association, uh, you, can read, uh, you can create profiles. Okay, you can create a, a schedule to disable radios at a certain time. I understand what it wants now. System time, just choose your um, your location because of the time status status is status in this case wireless let's see the ports okay community WS interfaces email alert you can configure an email to alert tools system log Email alert, enable, just create an email alert and network trace, that's trace route. Ping, ping is ping, and maintenance, this is probably firmware and configuration. Reset, restore, reboot, manage software, software information, primary image, secondary image. This is a bit like uh, switches. Switches from HP, uh, HTTP, TFTP, system, show tech, save system and download system and run troubleshoot purpose. Okay, it's just to help you out and uh, license you a lot. Yeah. And user license agreement. 